don't know what the minimum age is, so I couldn't find too much information about that, but I think it will be younger, obviously, because they don't tell us. Isn't it a nine-year-old? <laughs> yes, it's a nine-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> the the Lagville nine-year-old, non-age date. <laughs> yeah. don't know what the youngest is. Hello, Jen. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. Awesome, awesome. So we're trying more whiskies again, because that is what we do. More Islas, our favourite. Um, we're doing a we're doing a whiskey. We, you can't get any more, or we can't get any. A Lag Villain, the Game of Thrones release that Diageo did, which was very good branding, very good marketing. Um, lots of people love Game of Thrones, and lots of people like whiskey. Perfect. I combo. have never seen Game of Thrones, and yeah, so it, I, this one doesn't really mean much to me, but I'm sure it'll be lovely. It's so the house for this one. I don't watch Game of Thrones, but my um, all my flatmates and people that I know all do, so I hear all about it. So they modelled each whiskey after one of like the families of Game of Thrones. If you watch Game of Thrones, and I'm not um, explaining that right, sorry. Um, and it's the Lannisters that they've um, um, paired this one with Larry Villain. So I've got the actual. I've got to tell you exactly why they've done that, so I won't like uh, butcher the the meaning of it. So they say that Lag Villain is the most legendary single malt brands, is one of the most legendary single malt brands, and has been crafted on the shores of Isla for more than 200 years, mirroring, mirroring the meticulous, I can't say, I can't, this is when I read, I don't know why that happens, <laughs> uh, mirroring the meticulous calculation and tenacity employed by the Lannisters in their rise to conquer uh, the Iron Throne, the single malt, is a roaring single malt that um, recalls the Lannisters riches, riches, richers, richers, um, and uh, the, the I think they're, they're like, animal is a lion, I think, anyway. Ooh. So it all, all ties into that. I think that's also the incesty family. Um, but I don't think the whiskey is related to that. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. I mean, you could, not to judge you for making a good dram, but anyway. Um, so this is, I think this is an awesome dram i'm really enjoying it and i quite like usually when you get a lag villain it's seen a sherry cask at one point in its life anyway so this has just been purely bourbon matured um which i find sometimes um it lets you taste the, the whiskey a bit more if that makes sense it has less of a kind of sherry sherry influence to it that kind of fruitiness yeah. um and 35 parts per million so quite a standard kind of isla part or in um, amounts of parts or amounts of phenols of words <laughs> Parts per million. <laughs> um, it smells quite so spirity it, to me. Like quite new. How old is this I'm one? Again? It's a nine year old, yeah. Yeah. Nine years old, minimum anyway. Um not not from it's not a single cast. They produced they actually they came out with the first bunch and everyone pure like ran to get it and then they second released quite a lot more, which I think was possibly annoying if you were buying it with intent to collect. But anyway, really um Good idea for a range of whiskies. Um, I I love this one. I was expecting it to be so much heavier, and in like, um, like we've tr we've tried a few other kind of Isla whiskies, uh, like that kind of ashy way. I was expecting more of that, but I found it like really like full of fruit and fresh, clean flavors. Um, fresh, and definitely. Got fresh. Um, I'm I'm like it's not mega young, but for me that's smelling really young and really like spirity and new makey and yeah, really high up. Shall we shall we try it? I've not tried this one yet. Shall yeah. we flange dice track? Mm. Mm. Super salty. I'm finding that really luscious and fruity. I love that. I think that's so surprising mm. Mm. that's like, like salty high up quite spirity not like any lagavulin i've ever tried like for me lagavulin i always think has like a like a deep rich but like a light like a cold mentholy almost minty note to it i suppose there's that wee oh. bit there but it's not got the richness that. Um, um, that is like do you know if this might just be me but you know, if you go to like a village fair or something, and you you eat too much candy floss, 
then that aftertaste, which is not bad. It's like slightly metallic, really sweet, high up. No, no, just me. <laughs> it's like you're having a stroke or something, like you're eating too much candy floss and I can taste metal. <laughs> <laughs> What was in the candy floss, gal? <laughs> it probably comes off the machine they make it with. Oh, that's concerning. <laughs> oh, but you know that? Do you know it? Like, if you eat too much candy floss, oh, there's a dog. <laughs> He's woken up. Makes it just like, Mum, what is wrong with you? I told you you should have eaten so much metal. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe he's like, Where's the candy floss? So someone mentioned candy okay. floss. That's more likely why. But yeah, that's not like any lag of villain I've ever had before. Definitely not. I think it's really unique, and it's a that's a really good addition to like Lagavulin's portfolio of stuff, um, especially that just bourbon matured and also non chill filters and all that kind of stuff too. So you get to taste maybe a wee bit more of it than you usually would with some of their more standling, standling bottlings, <laughs> standard bottlings, um, and there. So also surprises me more. So we're just reading up more for this tasting. Um, and they, they take a larger cut of the, the new make spirit when it's being distilled. So in theory, it should have more of these heavier uh, flavours in it, like the phenols and stuff is why they do that to keep that more. But for, for me, for this one anyway, I don't find that at all. I find it's like um, if Inchmurrin and Loch Lomond 14 had a baby that was peated. It's getting better. I wasn't a fan of that at first, actually. I don't know if I'd choose it again. It's again is something that I was expecting to be something and it absolutely was not. So it was a surprise. Hey. Cool. cool. Well, thank oh. you for thank you for telling us about that one, Rachel. No problem. Thanks for l- listening to me jab it on. <laughs> I well, only well, well done. most of it. <laughs> um, Cheers. Cool, and we'll drink more and talk about it more another time. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on social media at The Grail Dune to keep up with all of our latest news and visit our website www.thegrail.scot. Slange, and see you next time. You're never wrong. Um, and when, apart from when you are.